in Tanzania when you're telling someone that I'm going to America, he doesn't have to believe you. Now are you lying? You see? That's all he has to tell you because he is thinking that it isn't it is impossible. We were really thinking God so much about that because it was it was something amazing. Yeah. As soon as uh, I was eligible to come and get in this country and uh, get escaped of all those problems that we were, we were facing back home, I really believe that uh, Jesus loves me and he has a really big plan for my life. He has a really big plan for the life of everyone in my family. Really everyone I witnessed saying that, okay, this one is a follower of Jesus. You know, God had kind of been putting the coaching um, on my heart, but I kept thinking, oh, do I really have the time for it, you know, and that was a real issue. And so then I said, well, I'm going to just go ahead and try it and see. I really appreciate God to uh, meet me, like met with Marilyn and Brian. He was just always smiling, always very friendly, easy to talk to. Uh, he just had a real peace about him. And then he just started opening up and telling me more about his story and his background and where it came from. Maybe my daddy or my mom can just be doing something for me is the way I'm feeling to be with them. They really love me because uh, they're helping me and uh, uh, they won't let me go in uh, any way that uh, I may just end up in trouble. We were lucky enough that he wanted to invest in our lives too and find out about us. So Nagama, thank you so much because you've taught me so many things that um, God has translated in my heart um, that I hope that can, I, I can express that to you someday to say thank you for the many lessons that you've taught me without ever saying a word.